Hi there, everyone. Welcome to episode 662 of the Mike from Maine show, the place where we do daily interviews with successful online entrepreneurs. This is your host, Mike Thomas, and today on the show, we have Chad Nicely and Karthik Ramani on, and we're going to be talking about a simple-to-use software that's going to, to allow you to take the videos that you're already creating or even other people's videos and be able to distribute them out across the web to make more leads and more profits. Now, these video galleries are self-hosted buy them for you. You don't need to have a domain name or anything. Plus, you can install them on a Facebook page or even put them on your own website if you do, in fact, have one. Let's get into it. Here's Chad and Karthik. We are here today with Karthik Ramani and Chad Nicely. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Hey, Mike. We are, we are coming from all different parts of the world today. Uh, both these guys are excellent uh, software creators. They put out uh, amazing pieces of software in the past. One of their most recent ones was, I believe, Lead Monster, uh, which went on to be a huge success, helping out a lot of customers along the way. Today is not going to be any different. They've come out with another solution uh, that they've decided to put out because I know that they were looking for something for their own business. And after surveying their customers, they found out that there was a need in the market as well for this. So I'm going to start this off by reading out the sales page headline that you guys have here. Uh, but one of them that you're testing out here, it's going to be saying the exact three-step process we are using to combine YouTube, Facebook, and WordPress for massive traffic, more sales, and to build up uh, your presence Let's get into this. Uh, Chad, why don't you start us off with this, and then we'll have Karthik do a, a little bit of a demo in, in a little bit. Chad? Cool. So um, I'm sure it's no surprise to anybody, Mike, just like you, uh, we're very involved with video. Um, I think last time I checked, done over something like 400 videos online, and uh, we run the Entrepreneur Live show right now. Um, so y you hit it on the head. We had a problem in our business. And we needed to find a solution. And the problem was, uh, whatever we're doing, if, if we're doing a promo, if we're doing something for our clients, uh, if we're shooting one of our shows, typically what happens is when you're done making a video, you're going to go and load it up to YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. most, most common response. But the problem is there's so many more outlets in addition to YouTube. So we went and we looked at our advertising budget, saw how much we're spending in uh, Facebook ads, we're actually, you know, uh, running a lot of video ads right now, doing a lot of sequential retargeting, really cool stuff. Um, but what I found is we're like, we were duplicating the efforts in various areas, right? So we were not only loading to YouTube, but then we were going over to our fan page and we were loading a video up to our fan page and we were loading up to the WordPress site because you want exposure in all these properties, especially if you're doing any kind of advertising. But we were, you know, not only duplicating our efforts, but in many cases, you know, triple or quadrupling our efforts. And it was taking a lot of time. It was taking a lot of money. And frankly, it's just confusing because you all have all these different properties out there that feature the same video. And I said, you know, there's got to be a way to where when I load to YouTube, this video is going to be syndicated to other properties automatically, Right. I wanted a hands-free solution that's going to help me build up those properties, build up our authority, get us more leads, more sales, right? Because we'll talk about that, but now we're actually generating leads from what we've created here. Um, but the main thing was it, it needed to be a time saver, and it had to be something that um, we wanted to make sure it got done. There's so many times, and maybe you're in the same boat, where we've got a checklist. And one of those things is not only... When the video is loaded up to YouTube or a Google Hangout or whatever we're doing, let's make sure we get it on our fan page. Let's make sure we're running sponsored posts. Let's make sure we get it on our WordPress site. It doesn't always happen, right? And you're losing money. Even though you got the process down, if you can't get it done, you're losing money. And you can't always rely on outsourcers as much as we try to. So we said we got to build our own solution. So what we do, and a lot of our Lead Monster customers already know this, we put feelers out there before we even announce or launch a product or anything. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired. It's like 1.30. 
Um, before we do that, we put a page out saying, look, here's what Karthik and I are thinking about building. We're asking you, what is it you would like to see, right? What, what, where are you struggling in your business? What can we do to help you? And so uh, it started with an email, I think, Karthik, and we mentioned that, you know, is, is there a need for this? And the response was overwhelming. So many comments were coming in that he said, Chad, I think we should launch this. Um, and what I didn't realize was this, basically anybody who's doing anything with video, and hopefully that's the majority of your audience, because if you're not, I mean, video is just the most, one of the most lucrative opportunities today. I mean, my whole business is based on video. But anybody who's using video really has a need for um, the solution that we've created. But not only that, we've taken things one step further because what we've learned through our launches and our online ventures and the amount of traffic we're running and everything is that there's really not a reliable hosting solution out there for videos, right? So um, I'm not going to mention names of services, but I will tell you we've been let down with a lot of these services, not only during launch time, but just running cold traffic through, you know, video embed stop or, you know, the videos just crash or the skin's a problem or whatever it may be. So we actually went, recognized that problem as well, and we're introducing our new video technology um, with this release as well. So we have a lot of exciting things going on, um, but it's not a product that we were really in a rush to create or launch. We wanted to make sure that, you know, we built something that community had a need for. Cool, cool. And I, I always love products that aren't just kind of produced and thrown out there on a whim. It sounds like you were very, uh, very thoughtful about this. You, you, were, you were checking in with your audience, trying to figure out what they needed, and you've created something that is customized to what people Want. I think this kind of a, of a solution is best understood visually, and that's why we do these demos on the show. So Karthik, why don't you go ahead and share your screen with us, and we can start taking a look, and I'm going to kind of pick your brain as, as we go through this, but let's, let's take sure. a look inside. All right. Yeah. And while he's pulling that up, if I can just kind of point something out, sure. Mike, um, what I've seen, and I pay real close attention to launches, so does Karthik, we saw a lot of products that help you create videos. And then after we saw a lot of those launches and products kind of, you know, go to the wayside, then we saw a lot of products that could help you with your ranking with videos and your keyword research and everything else. This here is kind of like the last step in the process. It's getting your finished videos, your ranked videos out there on all of your properties and outlets. And by getting them out there on all of your properties and outlets, it's probably going to help with your, with your rankings and your views and all that as well, right? Correct. Correct. And it's going to help build your authority too, which, um, you know, things are changing. You know this. If, if you really want to succeed online today, really become an expert, become passionate with just one thing, right? Get really good at one thing and build yourself up to be an authority figure in whatever that is, whatever niche or marketplace. And that's, that's what this is going to do for you as well. Definitely. Definitely. Cool, Karthik. So this is, the, this is the dashboard. Take us in. Yes, this is the dashboard. So the first step would be to create a new gallery. And we've tried to keep this layout very simple. So um, it would be... Stupid on, uh, simple. Stupid simple, yeah. <laughs> so... You put in a gallery name. Let's say uh, you have your own show, Mike from Maine. So create a gallery and you can select a template, any template that you want. You click on a template. He has his own show, doesn't he? I think I do. Yes. Last <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you can add a category. So I'm going to add a category called uh, interviews. Interviews with vendors. This is all hosted. This is all in your dashboard. I'm not putting this on like a WordPress website or, or mm -hmm. anything. Okay. No, this is like a fully hosted uh, platform on the cloud. So, and we also have uh, uh, everything is like secure. We have like HTTPS for the whole members area. Cool. So once, once you have the category done, the next step would be to add the video. I'm going to go and click on add video. 
So this is really cool, Mike, because what you can do is you can actually have multiple categories and you can pull from various channels for each category. So like if you have one category that was like gold investing and you had a channel for gold and you had another one for silver investing, you could pull in separate channels for each one of those categories. Cool. Love it. Okay. So you're going to, once this interview is done, you're going to load this on YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, there are like different ways wherein you can pull the video. You can search uh, YouTube for specific keywords. You can uh, pull down videos from a YouTube user or you can pull down from a channel. You can pull down from a playlist and all, I mean, you can pull down videos which are like popular today. So that way you have a, a lot of options, videos related to this video. So for now, let's say, uh, let's pull in with your Username, if you can tell me your YouTube username. I think it's, it it's kind of a weird one. I think it's Washington, D.C. Guide. I think it's an older channel. <laughs> Washington. <laughs> I, I, Wash, I-N-G. Washington, D.C. DC Guide. Guide. Try that. You might, you, you might not find it. Okay, let's see. You can try that one. If it doesn't work, it's, it's, my, it's my fault, not, not yours. You see where he checked that box this is pulling videos automatically? Yeah, that that's means, right. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's pulling it in. What that means is that little check box that he checked, mm -hmm. anytime you load a video into your channel, whether or not you're logged in here or not, it's going to automatically feed into your gallery. Love it. Okay, so I don't have to go back in there and add in those videos manually. No. No. Cool. So you have like all of these videos in case you want to edit the title, you can. You have an option of overriding it here as well. But uh, by default, all the video titles are pulled in, cool. and you can choose to delete some of the videos from this particular category. You can like activate or deactivate a video. So as of now, it has pulled in all the videos. Let's save and continue with this. I've pulled in like twenty videos. You can like pull in like n number of videos that you want. You just mention mention. How many videos do you want to pull? Wait, you have to then, show them how you, could, you you forgot to show them how you could shuffle them between the categories. Yeah. So you can you can just uh, decide which videos should come. You can just shuffle in the videos. So if, if you have separate categories, he only created the one, but you can actually drag yeah. that video into a completely different category. Different categories, yeah. So I could technically, I'm going to give, and because we're using my my channel as an example, I'm going to use this as an example. If I had uh, interviews about CPA marketing and I wanted to organize all my CPA marketing interviews into one area, I could do that. I could take all my, my content about video marketing, put that in one area and make it so that it's more organized for, for my audience. Right. Yeah. So you create a new category, CPA marketing interviews. Yeah. And uh, okay, so we have this category here. So you can, let's say, CPA siphon review. So you can pull this and put it in that category, CPA marketing interviews. Love it. Love it. And and let me, uh, maybe I'm jump, maybe I'm jumping ahead of myself here, and maybe I'm completely wrong. But could I, if I wanted to, could I take other people's videos and use it inside the software. Is that a lot? Is that an option with the YouTube? Yeah, I mean, we don't do any authentication, right? We're just pulling in YouTube content, which is public. So you can uh, copy the channel URL and import. Let's say you want to do a video gallery in your site for uh, PlayStation 4, which is the latest version, which is coming out PlayStation 4 review. So you create a new category. You put in the channel URL, different channel URLs that you want to organize. And all of those videos get pulled in directly to your gallery. Cool. And then you can maybe change the uh, title of those videos for SEO optimization right within your gallery. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Can, can you click on add video again, uh, Karthik? There's a couple more things I want him to see. Sure. So in addition to uh, YouTube, you see you can also pull from Amazon S3 as well as Vimeo. Nice. Right? So if you've... So would you want to, Chad, would, would you want to also put your videos on there? Or like how does that work as far as Amazon S3 and Vimeo is concerned now? Well, a lot of people do that. Like a lot of people are treating Vimeo um, like they do uh, YouTube. 
And then for myself, yes, I have tons of buckets on Amazon S3, mm -hmm. um, right? So uh, I could very easily do that. Cool. Um, and you just go ahead and you do the integration, you put in your keys or whatever, and then you just select your bucket and you can pull them right in. Nice. Um, the, the thing is, I don't want to mislead anybody. If you want to set it up to where uh, as soon as you load a video into your property, it automatically goes into your gallery, then YouTube's the only one that allows that, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where the automatic feature comes in. But if you click on YouTube again, Karthik, just kind of show him some of the options that are there because you can search by keyword. You can search for uh, videos related to specific videos, uh, uh, specific playlists. So if you had a playlist for CPA marketers and then you had another one for like video marketers and you're, you're loading those playlists, you can set your categories to pull from specific playlists. It'll do it automatically. Cool. Yeah, I mean, there, it looks like there's a lot of options there as far as what you want to be pulled in and what you don't want to be pulled in. Right. Cool. Go ahead, Carthy. All right, so you hit on save and continue. Sorry, right, buddy, I'm making it hard for you. <laughs> We're, we, keep, <laughs> we keep pulling Karthik back. We're like, wait, 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 we, we missed this part right here. Right. Just a second. I'm on a bad internet. Now we're screwing up Karthik's internet connection. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. The next step would be uh, the publish settings. You can you can like, select the layout. You can select different colors you want. So, you hey there, everyone. This is Mike Thomas here at MikeFromMain.com. I recognize okay. that voice. That's me. <laughs> yes. So. You can just select different layout color. Do like EF, EF, EF. I think that's the best one to probably show, right? You want to do light. I don't like bright colors. Like I like, I appreciate the fact that marketing is changing, right? Yes. Colors are going softer, pastels. And, I hate it when yeah. I go to a website and it's just like in my face, bright, bright, bright. It's, there's some websites yeah. that hurt my eyes sometimes. Maybe, maybe yeah. we're just getting older, Chad. May, well, I know I'm getting older. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so you can we have like opt-ins right within the gallery as well so we're gonna head on next so you have a, a gallery is creator and we're hosting this gallery for you so when you go to this link this whole gallery that we've created will pull up and right now I, oh, here we go okay so we can see we can see the gallery of cpa interviews there so that first gallery shows up there then we can see the interviews with vendors below that's the other category uh, that we had there so we've got all my videos there and if someone clicks on those Karthik they're gonna be what happens when they click on them so when you click on that the video would be played here and yeah. at the top video is gonna be playing it's being pulled from YouTube and being played on my site so if I if I'm understanding this correctly I'm still able to, to, to host it on YouTube, have the free hosting, and I'm able to increase my play views as well, but I'm not sending, I'm not sending traffic over to YouTube. Yes. I mean, the video you is are. still hosted on YouTube or your Amazon. What we're hosting is just the gallery and the player for you. Got so it. that way you get the advantage of uh, getting more YouTube views and further traffic from YouTube because you're getting more plays. Yeah. Now, what's what's unique about this, uh, Mike? Can you go back into your campaign, Arthur? Uh, yes. If you make changes in there right now, it's going to affect your gallery. So one of the things I notice is you have all those videos at the bottom. What you can do is because you just pulled those in, and maybe you maybe you do want to shuffle them all into categories, but you don't have that done yet. Uh, can you go ahead and click on that, Arthur? What you can do is you can set that category to inactive, even though it's holding all your videos. You can go ahead and set that to inactive, and then it'll turn that category off from showing up on your page. That yeah, and you can also yes. So you can I, also shuffle categories. I don't want to show it. I don't have to show it. If I want to show it, I can. I can show it. Then, then later on, once I have more videos in that category, I can activate it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So each category and each video can be set to an inactive status. So even though the videos are pulled in. You don't want to show them on your gallery yet? You don't have to. But they're, they're ready for you to do whatever. 
One thing I'm noticing here as well is that this link seems to be hosted on your server. So if I don't have hosting yet, if I don't have a domain name, I can use this right here and, and you guys will do all the hosting for me. Am I correct? So yes. There's a few options like he has here, and we've pretty much given you every option we could think of. You can uh, host it on your own site, which we give you an HTML file. We will host the actual gallery for you. Uh, you can load it up to your WordPress with a WordPress plugin that we give you, or the best part is you can put this inside your Facebook fan page. So you click on add to Facebook fan page. Yeah, Since I'm logged in to Facebook, it's already there. So install page tab. I select the fan page. Now install it on Chad's page. Yeah, put put all my interviews on Chad's page. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Give me some free marketing, Chad. Uh, now I see what's going on. This is the real reason why I'm doing this interview with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so you have you have a different short URL this time. So what happens is uh, when you use this URL, this is gonna pull right within. I mean, put this gallery right within your Facebook fan page. Yeah, that's great, Carter. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Uh. Yeah, and you can also change your description. See how you have weird niche content? Mm -hmm. You can change that. You can change your title. Um, you can do all that. So you can add more categories, even though it's live right now. You can shift them around. Uh, you know, you only had to publish once. And the nice thing is, uh, you're probably like me, and you want to publish to WordPress, your fan page, and maybe an HTML site. You can actually do all three of them at once. Chad, does this publish automatically to Facebook or do I need to go in there each time and, and publish it? Like right now, okay, I guess I would publish this template to Facebook and then yep. every time I have a new, a, a new piece of content, will that piece of content become the main piece of content on that page? Is that how that works? Correct me. Yes. So, um, and I think we're actually going to, we've had some suggestions about featured videos, so we're looking into that too. But yes, so uh, at this point, you're all set up. Now, from here on forward, depending on what you, how you determine it, do, are you pulling by your channel name? Are you pulling by a playlist? But whatever you set up, as soon as you load a new video in there, as long as you have that auto button clicked, it automatically pulls into all your galleries that you have published. Cool. Okay, so I can have, I can have the, and that WordPress one interests me as well. Just the fact that I would, I would want it to also be published on my on my WordPress site. You don't need to install that right now, Karthik, if it's, if it's going to be a pain to, to do it live. I know that there's some settings okay. you probably have to do uh, when, when doing that. But, um, okay, so I, we can put it on my, I can have the direct link. I can, if I have a WordPress site, I can add it on WordPress. If I have an HTML site, I can add it with my own server option. Plus, I can add it on, on Facebook. And all I need to do, it seems like once I have this set up, once I've installed the plugin, once I've done everything, I just need to, from now on, just go into my dashboard and I don't, I don't even need to go. Do I even need to go into my dashboard from now on? No. All I need to do is just upload it to YouTube and that's it. it's done. You're, you're going to do what that's you're already it. doing. Cool. You're going to do what you're already doing, but the work's going to be done for you. And that was what we it. needed. In our I get business. it. I get it. It's, it's, it's clicking now. The fact that you set it up one time and then just keep on doing what you're doing and that extra work is being done for you. My, I mean, I'll take, if, I'll take those extra... YouTube views and extra uh, brand awareness on Chad's page every day. Yeah. We're <laughs> You're going to keep that up there, right, Chad? I, I, I got to make a note on that there to remove that. But yeah. Go I mean, to sleep right after this interview, Chad. Yeah. Go to sleep and forget. It is 2 o'clock in the morning, right? I so, I mean, you, you get the idea. I mean, yeah. how much money are you leaving on the table by not having, I mean, we're driving traffic. You've probably seen our Facebook ads everywhere. And we're just stupid for not having those interviews out there and not having those promotions out there, right? And it's just because it was too much work for us. And now, you know, we automated the whole system combined with our new uh, video technology, which uh, people are really going to appreciate that. Um, there's a lot more we're doing. But if I can just say this, because I think this is one of the biggest selling points um, we have with this software. What we're going to do is we're going to have a separate page 
And on this page, this has worked very well. Worked well for Lead Monster. We're doing it for um, Member Hub, which is a launch that happens in September. Once again, we're just asking people, what do you want to see? Uh, we're going to create a page that says, look, here's where we're at with updates. Tell us what you guys need. They're going to leave comments down below. They're going to tell us exactly what they want to see here. And even after the launch is closed, we're going to keep adding to this and we're going to keep building it up, right? Because we know we've got to the point now where it, it's just amazing. You start shifting in business and you realize that, holy crap, the things I'm doing are actually making a difference in people's lives, right? And that's awesome. That's an awesome shift when that finally happens. And uh, we realize that, wow, the software we create is just top notch and we just need to keep developing it, right? Definitely. Um, so, Karthik, is there anything else that you wanted to show us inside of the front end? Because I know there's some other other options that happen once you once we start getting into the upsells. But I want to be clear about what people will get on the on the front end offer that they see on the sales page, and and then what happens when when they upgrade it. So, anything okay. else you want to show us that's going to happen so here? So you you also have the basic autoresponder integrations and webinar integrations. So the leads on the hosted uh, gallery, it can go to your uh, go to webinar or any of your uh, autoresponder. I mean, even if your autoresponder is not listed here, we have you covered. And we also have these API integrations wherein we're going to, rather than you putting in a form code, we're going to pull in all your uh, uh, email list and you can say, okay, these leads should from this gallery should go into this list. So we have uh, direct uh, integrations with all of these major autoresponders, Aweber, Active Campaign, so Amazon S3. So you just put in these two secret keys from Amazon and we will take care of downloading videos from Amazon and uploading it back to Amazon. Again, the same for GoToWebinar, you just log in once, connect to your GoToWebinar account. And also, uh, I've downloaded this WordPress plugin. So. We, you ha we, we're going to give you an API key for the WordPress plugin. So once you install this plugin on your WordPress and put in this key, your plugin will be activated and all of these campaigns that you create in this dashboard for, this a for, for your account would be available in your WordPress blog as well. So that makes the integration part much easier. So I mean, in, in essence, everything integrates. You just put in your API codes and if all the major autoresponders, when people... If people are opting into that form, they're going to go on your list. It's not, not in all kinds of code and stuff you have to do. You guys have made it so that you have those those easy integrations there. Uh, so you've got quick guide, you've got tutorials. Um, it, it is all it, as Chad says, uh, super stupid simple, simple. stupid simple. Uh, <laughs> it, but still, I mean, of course, there's sometimes when people still have some questions, uh, and and you guys have okay, you've got that quick guide there. Uh, cool. Okay, so there's. Yes, so yeah. we have, when for people who doesn't want to see the vi videos, we have like quick guide to step by step on what they have to do. Karthi, can you go back and just, I just want to look at those templates again, because I want to make sure people understand that the template that we looked at today isn't necessarily the one that everyone has to use for for theirs. I think there's, uh, I don't, I don't, don't want to be limited in the fact that the one that I had, like you, you put up that one, I think you used template number four, what was it? Yep, yeah, so you use yeah. template four, but we've got all these other here. You've got a launch template there. You, you've got, or, or, or I don't know, like t different different options when it comes to sorting by category. Uh, it, it isn't just limited to that one that you showed. Right. No. And the other are, thing. Go ahead, Chad. The other thing too, Karthik, is don't forget to show him that embed code. They're retargeting, and there was something else there too. Yes. So uh, we also have an option wherein you can put in the retargeting code from your FB or other retargeting companies like Perfect Audience or AdRoll. You can put in your Google Analytics code. So what happens is when your gallery is loaded, when somebody views a video in your gallery, you can like drop in a retargeting pixels and follow up, follow them up with ads, right? You could follow yeah. them around the internet, follow them around Facebook, and if you've if you've talked about a product or a service, you can subtly remind them and and bring them back. If they've already viewed your content, then the likelihood that they are going to be interested in, in purchasing 
purchasing something from you related to that is going to be much higher. I know Chad does does a lot of that. Especially, wait, I mean, the buzz isn't there yet, but wait until you guys hear about sequential retargeting with video ads. It is unbelievable. And this is perfect for that. Cool. Cool. Um, and then you have the embed code too, bud. Yes. So you have the whole embed code for the gallery. So once you copy this, you can just copy this embed code and put it in any any normal HTML site as well. And you can say where this should come on your site. Once you copy this code and put it anywhere, the whole gallery, you can see that this gallery has a specific ID and we host this gallery for you. So you don't so have I to worry about it. If I wanted to, I mean, I, it seems like you've made a specific integration with WordPress, but... Could I post this on a WordPress site as well and, and have it show on a specific page? Yes. Yes. Okay. You just copy the code from here and put it on so any page. Mm -hmm. So now what's really cool about that is you think we just showed you how you could pull in S3 videos. Go out there and try to find some kind of player that pulls S3 videos successfully. And I have tried for so long, they just don't exist. Cool. So this is, I mean, from what I've seen here, it... I'm. I personally would use it with with YouTube, but it seems like other people that want to use it with S3, that want to use it with Vimeo, uh, that option is is there as as well. Um, cool, Karthik. Let's let's talk about the the OTOs. I'm I'm interested in in that because I know that's where uh, a lot of the monetization aspects of this it starts to get interesting. Yes. So you can have like global monetization settings for uh, different kind of galleries that you have. And this is the first one-time mm -hmm. offer, right, Chad? Yes. Yeah. So uh, basically the idea, before you go there, Carter, can you go back to the dashboard real quick and just let's look at Mike's videos. So here's the idea, Mike. The same monetization that YouTube offers, you know, you have banners, you have um, annotations, uh, maybe you have like a, a preview trailer that you want to appear before your interview saying, hey, I'm Mike, make sure you join my list and I'll keep you posted. Uh, so what you can do is you can click on each video and you can set up a campaign for each video. But what we realized was you're probably going to use the same banners, you're probably going to use the same teaser video, and rather than have you waste your time and click on each one of these videos, to set up the same campaign over and over and over, what Karthik was just saying, we created what are called global monetization campaigns. So you can create one campaign, pull it into each one of your videos or for a category, and then you just adjust like the timing when the banner will appear or something like that. Just minor little changes per video. So Does I don't need sense? to go back in and let's say I'm doing a campaign right now and I'm, I'm focusing on selling a, a, a big course that I have and I want to pre-sell it and I want to have it on before every single interview and a year from now that course is over I'm not selling it anymore and I don't have to go back in there and change it on every single one I can have it just a global campaign yes. that I can just change it so even my videos that I did two years ago and I have people that are watching those which is amazing people which is the, the amazing power of YouTube everyone like I get I'm sure this has happened with you too, Chad. Like you'll, I'll get sales from from products that I spoke about a couple of years ago because yes. that that video is still out there on on YouTube and that traffic is coming in. Anyways, uh, the, but the point is, people are still watching those, and we can change that and have it so that my my old marketing that I've done years before is going to be selling stuff that I'm I'm currently marketing now. Am yes, I, do I get it? Yes, you do, and and just kind of hitting on the point a little bit. Imagine how much money you'd be making if you also had those videos over there on WordPress and your fan page. Yep. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, you get it. So the global monetization, again, um, you know, we didn't want to just build a product to launch it. We wanted this to fit our own needs. And I said, hey, we need to have global monetization campaigns because I'm trying to save time and I don't want to go through and create a campaign for each video. Love it. Right? Um, and we have full statistics. Cool. So, so I'm seeing, you can see lead captures. Oh, where are you going, Carthy? He's trigger happy tonight. <laughs> 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 he must have had his Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Apparently, Chad, Karthik has a whole, a whole family, a, a room full of family in the next room who he's told to be quiet during this interview. Yeah, he's yes. tonight, isn't he? <laughs> so this is so the global this is the monetization campaign right here. So you can have like lead capture forms appear at the start of the videos. Uh, anywhere, anywhere you want, you can uh, do all of these uh, settings. You can have annotations. You can have banners. Say, in case you're promoting some other product, you can have like banners with your affiliate links, even on your older videos. So, I like that. I like that that aspect right there. That we can put those banners on there, and you can you can choose where they're positioned. You can choose where the URL goes. You can choose your your image for it. Yeah. So picture this. Picture picture you have a uh, like a teaser video um, from the start and then you have a banner, and then you have an annotation. So what you can do is you can take all three of those monetization options and create a universal campaign. And then you can pull that universal campaign in per video or per category so you don't have to recreate them for each video. Love it. So we've got the banners, um, we've got the CTA buttons. Yes. Yes, so you can have these global monetization settings saved and you can, again, you can put in your affiliate link here and... Uh, the positioning yeah, the, of those, Karthik, are, are they going to be always in the same place or are you going to make it so you can put them anywhere you want? How does that work? Yeah, you can put them anywhere you want. So how, how do I move it? Like, do you just drag, click and drag or how do you, how do you move no, them around? Uh, no. It's not click on the as of now. It's like on a fixed position, but mm -hmm. you're adding options, but then you can have those on top, left, top, right, anywhere you want. Yeah. Most prominent places, even for the annotations and banners. And we also have the um, teaser video turned off right now too. That's like the one that would appear before your main video. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why is because we are going to these universal settings now. So. Um, that was kind of, we had it all set up to where you could do monetization per video, and I started doing that. I'm like, man, this is time consuming. I'm doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over, right? So that's how the solution came about. Which is a great way of finding, uh, of finding that, because we've got someone here. We've got Chad, who, I'm, Karthik, I'm sure you love it. Chad goes in here. He's, he's using it. He, he finds something that he wants. He's like, Karthik, make this happen, right? <laughs> and then Karthik's yes. like, like, God, Chad, okay, whatever. I'll add, I'll add it in there. <laughs> Yeah. It's the best way. Yes. I think it's the best way because you have you have the like you you have the developer in there creating it, and then you have the marketer who is who's testing it out and finding the real life uh, uses. Yeah, for the it. monkey. The, I'm the monkey. You're the monkey. I'm the. Hey, I didn't say it. You did. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you have these global monetization settings created, and then once you come back to your uh, campaign, you can assign these monetization settings. Let's say you edit your gallery. Yeah. Did we get in the and you can say monetization. We didn't get in the clients either, did we? There's so much no. stuff with this, but again, uh, I do believe it is really stupid simple. And um, something else that uh, a lot of people appreciate, uh, most of the people who buy this have bought our previous products before, so they know how this is going to go. We always keep our dashboards the same. We keep the same icons. So they just, they know what to do. We like to keep them familiar with our tools. It's very simple drag and drop. I like that about it. It's clean. Uh, it's, it's easy, easy to use. Or at least it seems that way from, from, from looking at this demo here. Um, okay, Karthik, we're running a little short on time here. So that's, that's the monetization. We can go in there and we can, we can change everything on the fly, have our, have our campaigns, we can see the analytics, so we can see what's performing and what's not performing. Maybe we're, we have our opt-in form and it's not, people aren't clicking on it, but we, we have some call to action and that's working really well, so we pull out the opt-in form and keep the call to action there. Uh, of course, with marketing, we're always learning, always trying to figure out what's working, what's not working. The only way we can do that is by testing, and with uh, being, able to, being able to see that data and, and use those analytics for our, uh, for our marketing needs. I know you have another one-time offer that is also really interesting here. And it, it makes it so that a, a normal marketer 
or, or someone that might not have the, the budget to, to create something like this uh, can have a huge advantage. Uh, Chad, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So basically that's for people who understand, and you know this, Mike, I know this, that to really, really do well in this business, you need to have your own products, period. So uh, what we allow you to do is we allow you to sell Video Hub as your own. Uh, you don't have to call it Video Hub. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, we basically do all the hosting for you. Um, all you're going to do is add your users to the software. If, they, you know, if, you, if you put them on like a monthly billing where you're paying them every month to use the software, and for some reason their payment uh, doesn't go through or whatever, then you can go ahead and suspend them so they can access the software. Uh, again, we made it stupid simple because you don't have to have a server, you don't have to have a domain name, you don't have to have hosting. Uh, basically, you're going to set up a subdomain on our server, and yeah, you're good to go. You can add subscribers. Uh, what we tell everybody is don't go out there and sell this for the same price you're buying this for. Like, go out there. Uh, talk to SEO companies, talk to people that have a real need for this, go talk to people that already have like 250 clients and go out there and sell this for, you know, 197, 497, 997 a month, right? They don't know uh, the deal that you received in this marketplace. Mm -hmm. The people in this marketplace receive amazing deals all the time that the rest of the world doesn't know about. So, you know, you don't have to sell it for that price. That's called our, our, uh, our license rights, our white label license. And those those rights, I see people over and over again take those, and then once a the launch is over, they go out there and they start marketing on their own. They have their own products. They they sell it. They get all the leads from selling it. It's not like you sell it and uh, and and Chad and Karthik are gonna are gonna get your email list. You can build your own email list with it uh, and mm -hmm. establish yourself as an authority with your with your own products. I was wondering though, the when you get the white label, the, how about the the logo does it still say video hub at the top no. or can you change that no no you, you can happens, you load your own logo go ahead karthik i'm sorry yeah what happens is you get your own i mean the same interface let's say uh you purchase white label rights from us you can have your mic from main logo here and you won't have any references to video hub the whole thing the whole code is installed in a new unbranded uh, domain name so uh. that way they'll never know this is that you've purchased this from Video Hub. Even the URLs from which it loads in the bottom, you will have no reference to Video Hub. It could be like Mike for main videos com or something. Could I do that? Yeah. Yes. No. What happened? <laughs> what? I mean, not not that. So I mean, you can do that, but you'll have to ha like set up your uh, name servers to this particular domain. Rather but than I, that, what will? Do it. Yeah, you could do it. Yeah. But you said rather it's than called, that, uh, what, would be, yeah, the, what yeah, would, called, would be the better solution? I think you were trying to suggest something different. Yeah, that would what you suggested is like custom C name mapping for a domain name to a different hosting. You can do that. But uh, uh, we have an unbranded domain name, let's say managedclients.net. So this, is, this, is, this one is for, uh, this is a part of first OTO. This is not a white label. Even for this, we're giving, rather than, uh, for, for the developer's license, we're giving an unbranded domain. So... They go to this domain, linkend.mobi slash admin. They can put in their uh, uh, logo and password. So this would have like no reference to okay. yeah. video. But you, you can go out there and get like mikesvideohub.com and then forward it to that domain as well. That's what most people do. And, and yeah. Arthur, you'd help people with that, right? Because like, I know you start talking about C name stuff. Even that confuses me when, when we start talking yes. about that. I'm, I'm not super tech. I'm, I'm marketing savvy, but not, not super tech. Savvy. So if, if people purchase that, you guys will help them get started with it and, and get, get going? Definitely. And if you're a white label uh, user, we also, I mean, uh, you also get like uh, free Skype sessions with us wherein our technical team will help you get started with us. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Guys, I, I want to thank you so much for both of you coming on the show today. Uh, for you, Karthik, because you've got your, your family in the next room. Uh, you, Chad, for, for popping in late at, late at night. This was a little unexpected for you. But um, thank you, guys. Did we miss anything? Is there anything you wanted to mention? Uh, any, any last words before we wrap it up? Well, we didn't talk about price. It's only $497. For, for the front end, for the front end product? <laughs> Don't scare people. You're going to scare people away. 
How is that pricing uh, going to work, by the way? As far as uh, it, it's going to be a lot, a lot lower than that. Uh, is it going to go up in price? Is it going to go to monthly? Like, what's what's happening with that? Um, so it starts at there's three different price levels. It's going to start at twenty seven, and where does it top off, Karthik? I'm half asleep here. So we have like multiple options in the right and the front end as well, based on the number of campaigns you have to create. So we have like. 27, 37, and 47 on the front end. Mm -hmm. And for the pro version with the monetization and uh, uh, the managed client section and like unlimited campaigns, you get it for like $67. And for the white label, we have like different options wherein uh, uh, let's say you want just 100 licenses, you get it for like uh, $250. You want like 500 licenses, you get it for like $497. 1,000 licenses, $997. And those numbers are actually for the white label is less than I than I thought it would be for for that because you have different options for different people uh, at different levels so if, if, if you if you want to be able to sell it a lot of them you can get that that bigger one but if you just want to be able to sell it to a few clients uh, you don't necessarily need to get that that larger license it's based upon your your selling ability now are you, are you gonna be able to buy those licenses after the launch, or is that always going to be available? Like, let's say I don't want it now. Can I go back and get it, or how, how's that going to work? How do you guys do that? No, during this launch time, we kind of uh, have it as a deal. But in, uh, once this launch is over, we're going to stop selling white label ourselves so that uh, customers who purchase white label from us, they can benefit from selling it. You're going to stop selling it? The white label rights. The white label rights, okay. Um, Mike, just to kind of let you know, our I think it was our social directory launch. Uh, we did the white label on there too, just like we're doing here. And somebody actually surprised us. He bought the lowest package possible, went out there and actually did a launch in, in, in Italy. I believe it was Italy. Did 60K in like 24 hours. And I was like, oh, wow, right? So um, it's a great opportunity for those that you know really understand what they're getting and, and uh, just take action. I mean, good for good for him as well. Like that, and that's a great story for you guys. It's a great testimonial for you. It's like, look, guys, this isn't. We're not playing around here. This is real rights to a real software that a uh, Karthik, I don't six figure, seven figure marketer, uh, Chad, a seven figure marketer uh, is is doing online here. You can have access to a real product uh, that you can use yourself and you can sell to your your customers. Uh, you're also going to have, I believe, a, a like a pre-launch webinar before you launch. Tell us a little bit oh, about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. We're the webinar guys. So, yeah, we'll be doing a webinar that morning. Uh, I think we're going to be giving away uh, the license rights as well. Um, so definitely get registered, right? This should be on your page there. Um, get registered for that webinar, um, and we will do our live giveaway on the webinar, and it'll go through and randomly choose winners. And, yeah, we're going to give away some of those license rights packages too. So, plus, we always have fun, right? Especially when I've had a little sleep and I wake up, and we usually just like, bah! <laughs> you just get out there and rock it. So, yeah, we like the webinars. Guys, thank you so much again for coming on the show and best of luck with your launch. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the interview today with Chad and Karthik. If you are interested in picking up Video Hub, you're going to want to come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern on Thursday, July 16th. You're going to be able to pick it up at its lowest price along with my special bonuses. Plus, uh, you can also sign up for a pre-launch webinar where they're going to be doing another demo of the product and giving away a free white label version of the tool, uh, which you can only win if you register for this webinar. So if you want to go ahead and click that link above the interview, that's going to take you there uh, until 9 a.m. after 9. It's going to take you straight to the sales page. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.